Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna be planting my dahlias for this spring, summer, and fall season. I'm in zone 7B in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm kind of in the area, the transition between where you can leave dahlias in the ground year round and where you need to dig them up uh, to protect them in the winter time if you wanna keep them uh, from year to year. And so I had dahlias in this area last year and about maybe 30% of them have come back. So that's kind of the area that I'm in. I treat my dahlias as annuals. I don't dig them out. Um, there are videos on the ch um, across YouTube if you wanna learn how to store them through the winter if you're in zones you know, two through seven. Again, I just treat them as annuals. Uh, the ones that I'm putting in this area, right in here on this side of my vegetable garden are ones that I did from seed, uh, from Johnny Seed. Uh, these are all mostly singles. The flowers are singles and they're great for pollinators. I will have, this will, this will be a pollinator dream area from about mid-May, mid to late May until fall. On the other end of the vegetable garden, I have all my big dinner plate doubles, my uh, you know very large uh, double flowers. They're all beautiful. They're great for cut flowers. Not as good for the pollinators. Uh, I also clustered them together up there because most of those plants get pretty big and I can stake them. These singles, the, the, the weight of the flowers is a little less and they tend to flop a little less. I don't have to do as much staking on them. So there's that as well. Another reason to keep them separated in this space. I'm calling this video Dahlia Planting Time. How do I know it's Dahlia Planting Time? Dahlias like to go in the ground when the soil temperature has reached 60 degrees and we're past the threat of frost. And so I have both of those things going on right now. I have a soil thermometer. I've shown it on the channel many times. I use this thing for when to plant pansies in the ground because I want the soil temperature falling uh, in the fall uh, down to 60. Uh, I know that I don't put okra in the ground until the soil temperature 70. I just have seeded okra in the house because of that. Uh, I don't seed it too early because uh, it likes the soil really warm. Uh, tomatoes and peppers, 60 degrees, same as the dahlias. They're going in the garden tomorrow. Things like broccoli and lettuce and cabbage and those cool season vegetables like the soil temperature 45 to 50, something like that. Super easy to use a soil thermometer for that. Normally on YouTube, you'd see, I've linked it down below and you can go to Amazon. And, but you don't have to do that. You can go over to a website that Syngenta maintains uh, the, and enter the uh, city that you live in and it will sh bring up a map with your soil current soil temperatures and i think mine's right around 61 degrees at this point and so perfect dahlia planting time i'm also looking at the forecast for the next two weeks and making sure I'm, uh, there's no threat of frost and so if you do those two things soil temperature 60 degrees no more frost is coming it's time to put your dahlias in the ground super quick and easy i'm just planting them to the depth that they are in the soil i'm going to go around the end real quick and show you those gallons uh, that i did in a video called dahlia jumpstart just a few weeks ago so you see all these trade gallon uh, containers these are the ones i planted in that dahlia jumpstart uh, video and they have rooted out beautifully i tagged them all uh, here are the uh, roots that have formed on on these uh, I uh, tag them all uh, individually, which is super important when you're dealing with uh, something like dahlias like this. Um, and make sure you're using a permanent marker that will hold up outside, because if it gets bleached off or washed away, it's really hard to know what you have, especially if you're going to be storing them. You're going to definitely want them uh, marked with the varieties. And one reason for that is they all get different heights. And so I've got, because the view is kind of going this way uh, from the rest of the landscape, I've got the shorter growing ones on this side and them getting larger as they go this way. If I was gonna dig them out of the ground and replant them next year, I would wanna know, you know where, you know, what order to put them uh, back in. And I've just kind of laid them out fairly randomly. I didn't want perfectly straight lines, but uh, I'm gonna sink them in the ground just to the level that they are uh, in the soil. So just flush with where they came up uh, just above the soil. If you were just planting the, uh, the, the tubers, if you just bought the tubers and you were putting the tubers in, uh, typically you put them about four five inches down in the ground i have clay soil here in my area and i usually don't plant them quite uh, that deep i usually will plant them two or three inches down and then use mulch uh, as the uh, to gain the extra inch or two of depth um, which doesn't stay as wet as the clay does but anyway i'm sinking these in the ground quickly I stand alone Show me where the ending goes On it
So again, I just planted them uh, to the depth that they were in the uh, container. I did not amend the soil in any way. I actually have added about an inch of compost to the top of my entire vegetable garden uh, just a couple months ago. And uh, that's getting incorporated as I uh, plant them. So these are planted in, you know, maybe a 25 to 30% compost and uh, native soil blend. And then I'm going to fertilize them with an organic fertilizer like uh, plant tone. I may come back and do that again in the middle of the summer. I actually, I don't like to push. Um, I, I, I push plants very little. The dahlias that were here last year bloomed uh, nonstop until uh, frost and they were planted the same exact way in uh, you know, compost just sitting on top of the ground that got mixed in as they got planted. And then uh, I only fertilized once uh, last year, again, with some, uh, with some plant tone. Okay. Here, I'm putting the uh, seedlings uh, in the ground, and you can see where they've already started forming tubers. They've been, I guess I planted these from seed maybe six weeks ago, and you can see tuber forms uh, in the seedling tray exactly like it would uh, in the ground. So now I have this beautiful sun stripe uh, where the sun's coming up this morning. Uh, that's uh, the seedling ones uh, went in a group there. I just used a trowel to dig them in. Again, this is a compost on top of the, uh, the native soil getting mixed in as I plant. Uh, there's one uh, dahlia that came back uh, in that space. The reason I like to put my dahlias uh, next to the vegetable garden and uh, just across the path over here, I'm going to have some, uh, some uh, marigolds, uh, zinnias, uh, cosmos, uh, lots of things to attract pollinators because the more pollinators I can get near my vegetable garden, the more likely the flowers on my vegetables are going to be uh, pollinated. A lot of people will have two tomato plants in pots on their porch and wonder why you know they're not getting very many tomatoes. Sometimes it's just because, I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm creating a pollinator heaven, and pretty much every flower that opens up in this garden, um, a, a poll, you know, a a bee is going to land on it uh, at some point, or a butterfly, or or whatever that plant requires to uh, to pollinate. Uh, dianthus are here. I'm going to uh, plug a few of these. Uh, additional plants uh, right into these dianthus because they're actually going to come out uh, pretty soon. There's another group of dianthus that you saw me plant here, or I'm uh, sorry, dahlias that you saw me plant here. And then there's two dahlias that have come back from last year. You can see how vigorous the ones that come back uh, in the ground are. This area in front is uh, all herbs, another thing that attracts pollinators as they flower uh, later in the season as well. And here are the ones from the uh, gallon pot. So thank you guys very much for uh, following along with my channel. I have a ton of planting to do over the next few weeks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you're alerted when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.